Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. A tomahawk is also a gotten word meaning an axe, but this is not a axe. It is a weapon because this was used as a weapon base only. The Native American Indians used it way back in the day. It goes back a long way, a tomahawk. And the handle would go in from the top on the older tomahawks. Up here it would slide through and then go through to the bottom. They did it that way so when they brought it over on ships and stuff, the handle would never loosen and fly off in combat. It was used for hand-to-hand -hand combat in many different ways. And the tomahawk also was used up until World War One and Two. Then they used it again in the Vietnam Vietnam War and the Iraqi and Afghanistan War. And Congress made it a law. You needed a saber or a tomahawk to carry with you up until World War One and Two. Then it ended until the Vietnam War and the Iraqi and Vietnam War. No, the Iraqi and Pakistan War. Now, I do apologize for getting tongue-tied right there at the wars, but it's a long day and I've been trying to do this video for y'all, but it was background noise. The coyotes and everything came out in the yard, so I had to redo it. But the tomahawk is made as a thin blade. You cannot use it to split wood. Some people say you can, but it's not strong enough to. It can do small pieces, but not good. The tomahawk was used strictly as a weapon, and this one is a United States Marine tomahawk. Here's the case into it. Right here. Tomahawk goes back a long ways, and thank you to the gentleman who sold this to me at the garage sale. It was his brother's. And... Tomahawk has came a long way, like way, way back in the day it was a stone. And then they went to steel, a steel head. The tomahawk has been around for many years. It was a feared weapon by tribes of Native Americans and Indian tribes and all around the world. They feared this weapon because it was a brutal weapon, a dangerous one. If it was in the wrong hands of the enemy, it could be dangerous. It's a dangerous weapon. It's not nothing to think is safe. It's dangerous. Now today... They used this for hand-to-hand -hand combat in Vietnam because they were close together at times. And in the Iraqi war also, they used it in some hand-to-hand -hand combats. Now, I do not know much more about this. I will do re more research and do a part two to this. But I hope you all found this interesting today, this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more awesome content. I do apologize the camera's off. I love vision for those you don't know. I do songwriting and history lessons, automotive repair, too many different things to list, and history lessons just as this. This will stay in my collection for a long time because it means a lot to me. Now that I know the history about it, unless the original owner wants it back, the gentleman who sold it to me, he might want it back in the future, and I would definitely make a deal with him, give it back to him for he sold it to me because he was a nice gentleman. But I look forward to seeing you all in the next cool video. Once again, the Vietnam War is when they came back in the Iraqi and Afghanistan War they used them in. Before then, it was used right before World War I. But Congress made it a rule that everyone had to use this or a saber. And this is the tomahawk. So it was a tomahawk or the saber. They made recommended you needed to carry into World War One, And it faded away completely in World War Two. And it came back for the Vietnam War. And the Iraqi and Afghanistan War. Because they were close together and this was considered a good weapon. Now, I don't know much more about this once again. I'm still learning and I'm studying very hard. I also have some swords that I'm going to give you the history lessons on soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button once again. And anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I have low vision Double and tap. I don't let it impact me. I got 95 in all my school and I do restorations of old furniture. I do home repairs. I do automotive repair. Too many different things. So let's check out my channel. You'd be amazed at what I can do at Low Vision. And it would show you anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more awesome content from this channel. And stay safe out there. And peace. Shutter.